Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Chino's Good Time in Gaming for the Mega Man 3 series playthrough. Back again at it with my co-host Breeze Bruin. I am uh, your host Chino J. And we have four more Robot Masters left to kill uh, before we move on. So what's your choice? Shadow Man. Uh, let's go and uh, kill the ninja. <laughs> let's turn the lights on. <laughs> he doesn't like the light. Shadow. Yeah. I always like Shadow Man's theme. It always kind of makes you the like the feel of it is kind of like uh, like a like a jazzy like bar type thing. Like the, uh, the, mostly the the intro melody, but not the little. Uh, how would you how would you, you know, say like? You know, there's a, a, I forgot I forgot to give one shout out to um. There is one uh, YouTube um. <gasps> Proto Man. Oh, this is, um, yeah, this is Proto Man. First time. I always wondered who this was when you, uh, when you fought him. Like, who is this guy? He's annoying. <laughs> he won't let you through the stage until you fight him. He's, he's not too hard. Yeah, he's not too hard. That, we will see Proto Man uh, a few more times, actually. Nice. And what were you saying? Ah, uh, shit, I forgot. What was I saying? I don't know, I guess it'll come back to me. Look at this, he's freaking walking robot grenade. <laughs> How devious can he be? That's just Dr. Wily created. You really think Dr. Wily created all these robots? Uh, not all of them, but maybe some. Well, well, um, supposedly. <clears throat> Yeah. What I was gonna uh, talk about was um, apparently uh, the lore behind uh, Shadow Man specifically is that he's actually not a uh, ro uh, technically a robot master or created by Dr. Wily. <coughs> Excuse me. Apparently he was uh, founded uh, by Dr. Wily somewhere on some kind of uh, uh, space station or some kind of planet of some kind, and he was uh, activated, um, he was turned on uh, by Dr. Wily to carry out his plans. So this part here, uh, jump forward and back, yeah. Make, force the spawn, because if you jump there, you might knock you off. Yeah, that's fine. Force the yeah, there you go. You don't want to die more. So, knock you into a river of lava or whatever. No it's like a uh, Fanta or something. Looks like Fanta. Fanta <laughs> strawberry, yum. I want some strawberry, please. <laughs> All that juice in, the, in that river. Make my water, my mouth water. Okay, so... Uh, I think I can... Here's the guy who's gonna jump at you, careful. Little asshole. There you go. <laughs> and then there's one dragonfly right here. You're gonna need a... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna need an E-Tank probably. Maybe. Don't use it yet. Oh man. Okay, well. Might as well. Um, as I said, um... The boss we're about to fight, Shadow Man, is I'd say by far the hardest, uh, probably the hardest uh, robot master without a weakness. I I found him pretty tough to uh, oh, look at that. He's, uh, he's going nuts. I found him hard to fight without the weakness because um, he's very fast. His he's... slide is just insanely fast. You really I just saw. Him. Kill him! Kill him! Oh my gosh! <laughs> As you saw, the slide definitely hurts. Yeah, it does. He slides just like you. <laughs> And apparently, um, also another lore thing is that um, Shadow Man's uh, blades are covered in a um, liquid adhesive that uh, damages uh, the internal components of a, a robot. So that could also be another explanation why uh, Shadow Blade hurts. That's interesting. And speaking of Shadow Blade, uh, that's the weapon we got. And it's actually pretty good. It's kind of like the um, uh, Nexus Spark Man. It is kind of like the, the Metal Blade of this game, except... Um, I'd say not as good. Like a bit of a nerfed uh, metal blade. Yeah. It's a shirt. Yeah. Pretty <laughs> much, yeah. Yeah, yeah metal from a buzzsaw to a shirt. It's still a cool one. It, shoot, it, it shoots and comes back like a boomerang. Pretty much, yeah. And now we're up, uh, fighting. Uh, Sparkman, who is weak to uh, Shadow Blade. He's weak to Shurikens. Probably because of the mental adhesive. 
be cool if um, there was like an actual like uh, like in game effect, like maybe like the robot master uh, slowly dies over time or maybe moves slower. But I guess that'd be a bit too hard to program for the time. Sparkman's uh, his it's supposed to be a mine, but look at this, his second floor and whatever there. Some kind of factory. Yeah, it looks like a it looks like some power plant or whatever, right? Pretty much, yeah. Next time you come upon those little um, those blocks that rise like that, uh, you know, I already know what to do. Yeah, they, it's it gets it gets a little trickier because you'll have those little robot things that appear. But there's a reason why um, I like to take on Snake Man and uh, Needle Man is for this level specifically. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, but you can always go to Snake Man and Needle Man whenever you want. But I guess it's better to get them out of the way. Right away, might as well. I always choose the rough road. <laughs> there you go, please. The eyeball things. Some kind of a trash compacting uh, area. Trash cube. Full <laughs> trash. Alright. We're here. So watch, this, watch this part here. This part is not easy. Uh, I oh, definitely suggest we use the Rush Jet. And also, another real neat thing we'll only see in this game is Rush Jet in this iteration of Mega Man uh, has the ability to move in any direction you want. And at your own pace. Yeah. That's a lot. This is the what only time and last time we'll see Rush Jet like this. Wanna know another trick? If you don't want to use a lot of the, if you don't want to use a lot of the uh, energy for rush jet, keep jumping up in the air while you're using rush jet. They'll still follow underneath you where you are, but as long as Mega Man touches the rush jet, uh, it will drain his weapon energy. But as you're, as you're jumping in those, that second that you're in the air, it doesn't drain it at all. Do you know that? Uh, I think I do. Uh, I think it hurts or something like that. But that's definitely good to, good to know. There you go. And that right. was uh, Sparkman. <laughs> Not much to say about him. He just he he fizzled out. <laughs> he jumps around and shoots at that uh, kind of eight uh, eight directional um, spark, and then a giant spark shot at you. But other than that, give his weakness. He's not too hard. He he uh, he shoots the the eight sparks, and then he charges up a Kamehameha <laughs> and shoots it at you. But it's really slow. Yeah. Goku would be very disappointed. Yep. So who next? I don't want to go for There we go. Magnet. I guess probably one of the, the bit one of the more goofier looking uh, robot masters. <laughs> the giant magnet on his head. Oh. I don't know. The one thing, the one gimmick with this stage is these weird little uh, robot uh, with little robot magnet things. Uh, just don't jump when you're going over a, uh, a bottomless pit, or else you'll die. And that's pretty much it. That's that's the only time you'll see those things. They'll go for flat. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Stick to the very right of the wall. And shoot from there. And now slide under him or whatever. But again. Now keep shooting. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Just yeah. run Proto Man's not too hard. His only uh, his only uh, strategy is to... Get back to the wall. Shoot, 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 shoot. He, he, shoot, he tries to be like Mega Man. Just jump and shoot, man. <laughs> jump and shoot, man. <laughs> Maybe we won't spoil it right now, but uh, we'll go more into uh, some lore aspects about uh, Proto Man. I guess maybe when we eventually fight him, or maybe in some future Mega Man games? Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. This is uh, Proto Man's first appearance. Yes. We don't even know that he's Proto Man. Well, if you first. If no one's ever played this game, I don't know, back in the day, I didn't know who the hell that thing was. Yeah, he was just a boss, a mini boss, as far as yeah. everyone's concerned. And he found out later that his name is actually Proto Man. Oh. And we will find out why his name is Proto Man. Yep. Um, you have a rush jet. Uh, if you want to use it, I use it right here. There we go. Nice. This stage is also really uh, handy with the rush jet. You can just skip all that crap and jump. Jump and shoot, man. 
See how see see how you don't use as much uh, energy? No, no, like none. <laughs> yeah, like if you jump, yeah. I don't even worry about that. Yeah, I don't You're good. That. This stage is not too. Uh, uh, actually, that's a bit tricky with the with little magnet uh, people, and little magnet robots, and uh, that part in particular can be a bit tricky. But uh, we're at ninety nine. Magnet people. Those things are kind of an issue. Uh, Taking uh, rockets. And then here I'm fighting. Magnet. Yeah, it's weak to spark. Spark yes. shot. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'd say probably Magnum Man's probably the most ad. Not the. Uh, like maybe as agile up there with uh, Shadow Man. Yeah, he'll try to suck you in with his magnet powers. He's kind of like a fake, fake Magneto. Fake Magneto. <laughs> <laughs> He, no, Mega Man wishes he was as powerful as Mega Man. He looks like he's taking a dump. <laughs> and that's Mega Man. <laughs> he lost his polarity. Pretty much. Alright. Who next? Oh yeah, Hard Man. Last but not least, Duh. Hard Man. Kind of a funny name, I think everyone can kind of... Uh, hard Man's a bit too easy of a... He's name called Hard Man because he goes hard. <laughs> They could have called him something cooler. He just goes hard. Call call him like Steel Man or like Iron Man. I oh, actually no, that's copyrighted. Uh, copyright. <laughs> can't call him Iron Man. He looks like um. But speaking of Iron Man, call him not Soft Man. <laughs> he kind of looks like um. What's his face? Uh, Iron Monger, the I think Iron Man's first villain in the first movie. Yeah. Played by uh. What's his face? Uh. The dude Lebowski. So call him. Copy Iron Monger Man. <laughs> and his little uh, B, uh, B things remind me a lot of the Hornet Chaser. Hornet Chaser. Give me some Hornet. These little things kind of snap at you. They're like uh, Venus Flytrap from Mega Man. Fair trap. Yeah, oh man, I really wish I had a Hornet Chaser to kill this. Monkey guys are pretty annoying. When they got another, they actually remind me a lot of a um, another Capcom. Uh, enemy. Watch out, watch um, out. <clears throat> if you guys have, I don't know if you guys know, this is a bit of an older uh, series. Oh crap, a bit of older series. Uh, Ghost and Goblins, um, the Red Demon. Oh shit. <laughs> The, the red demons um oh, are pretty yeah, annoying. I, I think you know I know who you're talking about. Like, he has a he has a specific name. I think it's called the little red devil or the something. Red devil or something like that. He's he's like a cancer. He is the cancer of Ghost and Goblins. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll do a, a Ghost and Goblins picture. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. That, Ghost and Goblins. That is a hard game. That is definitely harder than any Mega Man. Almost. The yeah, I would say the very very first one. It's a like, Jesus, it's un almost unfair. But there there is not uh, not too many Ghosts and Goblins. As far as I'm concerned, there's only really yeah like the original um, Ghosts and Ghouls, uh, Super Ghosts and Ghouls, and then I can't really think of any others. I know there were some on the phone, but I'm, I I don't think those uh, were. I had anymore. two different mobile versions of uh, that Ghosts and Goblins franchise. And you can play between um, Arthur, Lancelot, and, Lancelot, and uh, another Percival. Percival. Yeah. yeah, all characters from the round table. Yeah. Uh, I'd say this is probably like the most annoying photo man fight because it's on this weird. Uh, but I say just stick uh, to one side. And just I just remember one. what I, what I forgot earlier on. Um, it was about a uh, a content creator on YouTube who makes uh, metal remixes. He actually he's made. Um, Playthroughs for Mega Man games, and he's he's uh, not only played through them, but he also remixes uh, all the Mega Man music into hard uh, into into metal, right? Into metal, which is 
awesome. So the intro to Mega Man 3, the menu, he remixes everything from the beginning to the selection, stage select screen, everything. Everything you hear. It's really cool. Oh crap. Ouch. That, uh, Hardman kind of hurts. <laughs> don't, don't get hit. You don't have a lot of life left. So be careful. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Hardman's little uh, strategy right here is that he shoots his fists at you a lot like, uh... Um... Oh, I can't really think of anything to, uh, reference. Uh... Then he tries to give you head. And then he tries to give you, yeah, give you his head. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. And then you kill him. Boom. Uh, and that was hard, man. Not so hard, man. Nope. <laughs> his weapon in particular, uh, the hard knuckle, is, uh... It's okay. Not, uh... Definitely, uh, it's it's more of a utility weapon than a actual weapon that we're using. It's all right. Yeah, it's, it's slow. Okay. It's okay, baby. Okay. Uh, all right, hard knuckle. Boom. So, what? One, two, three, four levels all broken, <laughs> and then oh my gosh, what is this? I thought I killed everything, and now four things have appeared. Where's Doctor and... Wily? <laughs> yeah, where's Doctor Wily? God damn it. Anyways, we will find out what the hell just happened in the next episode of the Mega Man 3 series playthrough. Me and Freeze Ruin wish you farewell, and I will see you next time.